So when installing chain link, isn't it a pain of how to keep the mesh at the right height when you're tying the post? You're always having to lift it up with one hand and tie it with, it's a problem. There's gotta be a tool for that. Hey, there is, Kevin. We've mentioned these a lot in our videos and we've kind of shown you, but we've never actually taken the time to really show you in depth of what these things are. So we just happened to be over here. We found some old fence and just to give you a more in depth example of what you're gonna use this for. It's to lift and hold the chain link up for you while you tie the post. This will work for stick tying if you're still in the stone age and believe in stick ties. Or if you've gotten with the 20th century and you are now using easy ties, this still works for you too. If you wanna find the strongest point, which this would be one strong point and your next strongest point would be right here at the post. If you use it in the middle of a section, it's gonna put pressure on that top rail and it's gonna push that top rail down. That's also another reason behind the top rail dressing tool. If you are in the middle of a section and you have two pieces of top rail that come together at a point and you wanna flatten that out, you're gonna take this on that peak and you're gonna push that top rail down and then tie the chain link, causing that top rail to stay in the position that you want it to be in to get that flow to look really nice. So if you're using this to be able to tie your post, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna take the hooks you're gonna stick them through the chain link. You're then gonna bring that handle back, sitting the angle on top of that top rail, and you're gonna roll back, pulling down on that handle, and it's gonna lift up on that chain link. It comes with a cable and a little hook. That's so you can hook it back to the chain link, and then you can tie it while this thing's doing its job. And it makes it a lot easier. We're about making things easy. We're not getting lazy, we're getting smarter. The red is for a two inch diamond. The forks are spaced to receive the two inch diamond mesh. Now, the yellow, what out there involves fencing and is yellow? Tennis balls. Fun fact, did you know that a tennis ball can go through a two inch diamond? If you hit it just perfect, and it happens. Tennis court mesh is inch and three quarter diamond. This would not work on a two inch chain link mesh. So this one is yellow because this is designed and intended for inch and three quarter mesh, which is for tennis courts. See how that just goes in there all nice like? It's like it was meant to be. Bonus, if you need this tool and you're also gonna be doing some mini one inch mini mesh, this will work for the inch and three quarter and the one inch mini mesh. When you're in the process of building your chain link fence and you're getting to the fabric stage and you're just starting to put it up and you're standing your fabric up and it keeps falling over, or you're having to tie it up and it keeps falling over, there's a, there's a solution for the problem. It's called the banana clip. I know what you're thinking. I've made those before. Yes, you probably have. You've made it with a piece of truss rod and a pipe. I'm not saying that your piece of pipe and truss rod are horrible, but what I am telling you are these are better. Any height of a chain link fence, they're designed to hold the chain link up to the top rail to prevent the chain link from falling over until it's fully tied. Now, if you wanna see how to use a banana clip, make sure and see that video right here. If you're new to the chain link and you don't know how to do it, make sure and see how to install commercial grade chain link in this video right here. Dan with SWI, we are a Wyoming's fence company and we hope you have a good dang day.